Welcome to the Ultimate Game Room. This is Dixon logging on and entering Tromaville. Oh, warning. This is Lloyd Kaufman. No need for this disclaimer. You've already paid your money. <laughs> and that's classic Lloyd Kaufman for you. Warning. The Troma Project contains harsh language, sex and violence, and talking penises. Okay, I guess that's uh, good to know. Uh, Necrosoft. That's a pretty creative developer logo. <laughs> and Necrosoft is well known for creating the Troma Project. This is the Troma preview from all the Troma films uh, before that. Of course, I have to mute the music in the background. Because I don't want to get any copyright strike. Probably will get copyright strike over from using this footage anyway. But then again, we'll see. Now, by the way, the music that I was playing in the background is uh, Sacrifice from Motorhead. Which was also used for that Tromeo and Juliet film. And the late Lemmy Kill Mr. God Bless His Soul. Was also a big contributor to the Troma films. He was also in Tromeo and Juliet as the narrator. I think he was in other trauma films as well, such as uh, Toxic Avenger Forces and Toxie. Kaboom, motherfucker! That sure hit the jackpot. This was, of course, a re-release, so there's no higher screen resolution than 800 by 600 let alone leaving all the fucking bugs in the game for us to put up with. Then again, the fucking game's half-ass broken anyway, so... <sniffs> During the next few scenes, we're gonna be hearing Lloyd Kaufman flap his gums, and he never shuts the fuck up. But then again, at times, I'm quite talkative, too. Whatever, shut the fuck up. Greetings from Tromaville. I'm Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger. And I'm going to be your drunken, fucked up narrator for this very game. And that's what we need. A drunk, fucked up narrator for the game. Well, I'm going to be a little fucked up in this video, too. It was way back in the year 2000 when Troma and Topware finally crossed paths. I remember it well. Achim and Lloyd were in a jail cell together. We had the manliest kind of love. It was incredible. It was, it was, oh. <clears throat> Times were hard back then. A pack of vicious surf Nazis had infested our fine town, turning Tromaville into a bloody battlefield. And I knew they couldn't be working alone. They had the might and muscle of the international devil-worshipping mega-conglomerate AOL Slime Wormer behind them. This time, not only would the cabal of labor, bureaucratic, and corporate elites rob the little people of Tromaville of their economic and spiritual capital, they would rob them of their very lives! I knew that only the Toxic Avenger and Sergeant Kabuki Man NYPD could restore calm and order to the once peaceful streets of Tromaville. Of course, before they could restore calm and order, they'd have to kick the shit out of a fuck a lot of Nazis. Okay, when it comes to fucking Nazis today, it's the SJW woke mob. Oh, I almost forgot. There is also this strange guy who mumbles in this weird fucking language. I don't understand him, but I do know that he came to help. And as long as I don't have to pay him, he's fine by me. For the purpose of this game, let's just call him The Stranger. Yeah, 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 I like that. I had a friend once. I, I, I met him in the men's room of the YMCA. I, I called him The Stranger. He, he really had lips like a woman. It was great. It was... I, I remember when he put his penis... Oh, uh, 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 uh.
Mission one, surf Nazi attack on Tromaville. Welcome to Tromaville. I'm going to explain a little bit about how this game works, but hey, you should also take your time to read our very, very nice manual and our woman manual. This all may be pretty fucking boring to you, but you never know, you may learn something. Maybe you can read the manual while you are taking a shit. Maybe you don't even know how to read. But what the fuck? Left click on one of the heroes or their portrait to select them. Left click somewhere on the ground to see how many action points you will need to go to this point. You can see the available action and health points of the selected hero on the bottom left of the screen. If you are lucky, you can place your hand between the legs of the gyno next to you and maybe you can get a little feel. AP means action points. HP means health points. But I think you could probably figure that out by yourself, huh? What's that? The gyno between whose legs you have put your hand has slapped you? Well, sorry. When you choose the location you want to go to, Confirm your choice by left-clicking again, and the hero will start the action immediately. Or you can send me 25,000 German Deutsche Marks, and you will win the game automatically. Send the money to 733 9th Avenue, New York, New York, 10019, care of Lloyd Kaufman. What's that? I'm not allowed to say that. What the hell's wrong with it? Hey, 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 leave me alone. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Whenever an enemy appears in his view range, the character will automatically stop walking so that you are able to give further commands to him. You may get a bit confused by that in the beginning, but hey, at least you don't run into enemy hands like a dumb fuck. When you encounter an enemy, just move the mouse pointer over him Let's and it will change to the a wood red like we did target the old times. cross. This is how you attack enemies and choose different attack modes depending on the weapon you use. One more thing before I finally shut the fuck up so that you can concentrate on playing this great game. Remember that you can always hold the right mouse button to speed up the current action. If you get tired of watching your character walk or the enemies take turns fucking each other in the ass, you can hold down the right mouse button to speed things up. Besides that, you can right-click on a character to open his inventory and mess around with his weapon and all the other useful items that you will find. But enough of that now. Just play... All right, shut up already. About fucking time. Maybe I can get a chance to speak. Uh, nothing personal, by the way, Uncle Lloyd, but... I like to get the show on the road as much as you do. And I got some fucked up narration of my own. Meaning I'm going to bring in an unscripted, not audio track, what I previously did. By first introducing this game. Meaning I'm going to be talking about a game that was uh, based on the trauma films that were released decades ago. And created by Lloyd Kaufman. This game was lost for 15 years. Originally released in 2001, then re-released on Steam in 2015. Now it's been about seven or eight years later since their re-release. So I finally got a chance to dink around into the game. Now do not expect this project to be any good. Or maybe good that's bad in a way, but do not expect this game to be a masterpiece. And this game was not and this game was not remastered for modern OSs. This was just a re-release. And it's indeed a buggy mess. It was uh Originally developed by Necrosoft, who are only known for this game to begin with, and the re-release was published by Topware Interactive. So this game did not get a proper rework done on this one. And that's already a big fuck up there. By the way, I'm doing this damn project as a fucking unscripted project. It's gonna be all, I'm just gonna be pretty much fucking all about, fucking all around, fuck up, fuck, 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 get the fuck moving. Damn it. Okay, in the best of my abilities, I've always been a B-movie fan from the from the 80s, and from before that as well, too, and some after that as well. And Troma's been one of the most entertaining, uh, low-quality, bad-but-good films, like Toxic Avenger, or Surf Nazis Must Die, or 
or class of Newcomb High, or Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, Cannibal the Musical, Tromeo and Juliet, Killer Condom, you fucking name it. Those movies are so shitty that they're so fucking good. The most popular uh, trauma character out of all is the Toxic Avenger, where he spawned a few sequels and spawned a cartoon, I think that's for family friendly, called Toxic Crusader. And there was even video games made made on that on the NES and Sega Genesis, I believe. Asked angry video game nerd about that one, where he had Lloyd Kaufman as a guest star in his episode of that one. I didn't play those games for myself to justify that. But regardless of how bad or good it is. Anything from trauma, you have to expect something that does not make any sense because they're not supposed to. They can be bad. They the projects can be bad that they're so damn good. Sometimes they're just bad that ah, I'm not interested. I mean, there's a lot of movies out there these days from the A-lister world that are just full of shit. That there are pieces of shit though. I'll tell you that. And by the way, I'm being a little gibberish on purpose for this episode in some lines. Now, I haven't been into trauma films in quite a while, so I'm not sure what's going on in Tromaville these days. But I decided to think that this trauma project does deserve to be visited because I actually did have a fun time with trauma films back in the day and I still have a lot of fun and humor memories watching them back and forth so let's give a look at this game really quick the trauma project you know originally this game was actually uh back then it was titled as toxic maven the trauma project but since it's released it was, it's been released as the trauma project i don't know why they fucking did that for anyway let's get to the fucking project so far, you can play between the three characters in this point-and-click uh, action game. It kind of reminds me of the first two Fallout games, except the Fallout games are definitely fun. But this one is interesting and okay, but just wish they would have ironed out the bugs from the original release, though. I mean, for modern OSs and actually make this game 1080p. I understand Troma does a, a feast of shit in their projects, even though they turn out good, but they can at least fix it to make it playable. But whatever. The three main characters in this game is the Toxic Avenger, Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, and this this strange and this stranger that Lloyd Kaufman flaps his gums off about. Of course you'll be hearing him flapping his gums off at the beginning of the game, so that's that. And he's been doing this in between scenes, I believe. I didn't make it far, to be honest with you, because, really, I just don't really have... Because the, the gameplay doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, it's pretty much like any other bad game in general. It's not just because it's a trauma project. Even though I kind of give it a pass, but... All you just do is just waste surf Nazis in this game. I mean, on each level. Plus, other characters is optional. You know, Sergeant Kabuki Man and Toxic Avenger shouldn't be doing that because they're supposed to be the good guys. But what the fuck, it's fun. And even Toxic Avenger can use a gun in that one. Now, I don't remember Toxic Avenger using any guns in that movie. And as you could take a look at the Surf Nazis, they look nothing like the Surf Nazis from the movie Surf Nazis Must Die. They look like casual surfers. But they're armed with guns, though, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, wait a minute, nothing's supposed to make sense. What the fuck am I talking about? Well, anyway, I think I draw the line on this one. I would love to give more time into this game or project. Unfortunately, I don't. I'm just doing, only talking about this out of the respect of my uh, love for trauma. So, this is pretty much where I draw a line. I do apologize for not being accurate and being a little unscripted, but this is where I draw the line. Anyway, this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gaming Realm, 
leave in Tromaville. Might return someday, but can't guarantee it. And this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gamer. I'm logging off. Yeah.